Greetings, Planeswalkers. I got another deck concept for you in keeping with the quest for today, black and green spells. This one is a really big deck, as you can see, 174 cards. I like big decks and I cannot lie. This deck uh, is essentially just all the biggest, rarest, mythic black and green cards I could put together that had uh, some cross utility. So starting off with some of the cheaper cards in the deck, Valentine, Dean of the Vein, I've got Ascended Pack Leader, the Spear of Sentinel for mana, uh, Sphere of Annihilation, which is a recent addition to this deck. I haven't even gotten to use it yet in this deck. <clears throat> March of Burgeoning Life, which uh, I'm not thrilled with the card. I guess I don't probably know how to use it as well as I should at this point, but I threw it in just in case. Got an Ochre Jelly as well. Moving on to the two manas, you know, some of the other sets that have come out recently, the uh, not the most recent pack, New Compena, the uh, Neon pack that came out, Tainted Adversary, again, the Ascription of Abundance, which I really like. Kami of Transience, Lotus Cobras. A lot of this stuff in here is mainly to get mana going because uh, it's such a heavy deck with a lot of big creatures and, and sorceries and instants that you need it. Um, and, and even though I've in the past talked about how you need a fast deck, uh, and this deck is not fast, uh, a lot of the mana utility cards help with uh, speeding it up a little bit. Asirak, the Arch Lich, uh, Callous Blood Mage. Demonic Bargain I don't use very much, but every once in a while it's pretty useful. Um, this is a new card I've added. Uh, it's a mythic, so I thought I'd throw it in. Got a Path of Peril here and there for uh, some of those Swarm decks, white deck with uh, a lot of those tokens. And then just some other kind of just powerful cards, really. Um, some black and green combo cards. I like this card a lot. Uh, it's a uh, rare card and uh, gives you a lot of options. Uh, obviously, Mirror Box is useful because of all the legendaries. One of the Planeswalkers in the deck, uh, Culling Ritual. This is a pretty useful card that I use a lot in this deck. Uh, once I get going, just to slow down any decks with that are quick. Uh, Tyvar Kell as well. Uh, the Viper's Fang. Uh, another Planeswalker. Uh, Toski is a is a great card. It's it's a it's a well used card, a very useful card. Hallback Piper, obviously to help get some of the larger creatures out. Eska's Chariot for some tokens, and then uh, Canopy Tactician and Accomplished Alchemist. Another Planeswalker, Sword of the Merciless, Gel Gelatinous Cube to, uh, again, get rid of some opponent creatures. And then Crippling Fear is a good deck, depending on who you have out, or a good card, I should say, depending on who I have out during the play. <sighs> Junji, Midnight Sky, another Planeswalker. Uh, Turgrid, another kind of Battlefield Cleanser. Um, of course, Shia Soul of the Wild, if you can get this card out fairly soon, you've got a lot more mana potential. Consuming Blob, another Mythic, uh, Frogamoth, uh, another uh, Neon card, Mythic, uh, Springleaf Avengers, a, a pretty beefy creature card that has some utility, a natural growth, That that's a card that... You know, it's a game changer when it comes out if you've got some creatures, of course. Deck of many things to get some some uh, card cycling. Uh, this is a great card. Ava Brook Caretaker. Uh, super useful card. Even if you don't have werewolf decks, um, just a lot of utility and, and, a, and a solid, solid mythic card. Uh, got some werewolves in here to take advantage of that. This uh, Tox Roll the Corrosive. This is a complete game-changing card. Uh, I mean, it's it's uh, deservedly mythic, deservedly seven mana, but uh, 
I mean, you, you pull this thing out and uh, it, it's a game changer. Um, whoever does it. Some other creature cards. Gnawbone's great for uh, getting more mana. This Cultivator Colossus Mythic card. Uh, used, there's not there's a ton, not a ton of land in this this deck, but I've had a few instances where I've pulled him out and uh, been able to do this the, the land cycling. Uh, obviously, the Tarrasque. It's a fun card to play, and then just a lot of land, you know, you, and some some utilitarian land too. Hive of the Eye Tyrant, hostile. Uh, Hostile, hostile. Uh, you've got some more neon cards here to uh, for some more utility. Dark bar, slither bar pathway for the options as well as a death cap, cap glade. There's enough elves in this uh, deck that I have the Skemfar Elder Hall and then of course Woodland Chasm in the deck. So uh, it's a fun deck. Uh, it's, you you can you can approach a win a lot of different ways with it. Um, and uh, some graveyard manipulation with some of these cards uh, and, and different ways of getting some of the bigger cards out. So, uh, again, you know, please comment what you think of the deck. Uh, give it a try. Obviously, this is a deck that I've built up over a long period of time playing because it's got a lot of mythics, a lot of rares. And essentially, it's just a super-powered deck that... Uh, that has so many different things in it, uh, it, it, it almost never plays the same way twice. And uh, uh, it's a fun to play deck. It's Like I said, it's not very quick, so I, I tend to not do super well with it. But if, if you can prolong the game a little, uh, it becomes fairly overwhelming after a while. So again, leave a comment what you think. Uh, maybe some other cards that I hadn't thought of that I could add to it or maybe even take away. And uh, maybe tell me your favorite card in it. Uh, there's a lot of ones in here that I really like. So uh, give it a try if you've got the cards for it. Uh, I'll do some gameplay with this thing as well. And I'll link it below. And I uh, hope you guys like it. So long, Planeswalkers.